Hi Space Cadets, Astro Chris here. Welcome back to another video. If you're new, please be sure to like and subscribe on your way in. It helps me to pick up on your energy for future readings. I'm going to be doing a energy check-in here, which is just going to see what falls out. We're going to talk about it and basically get whatever message it is that the collective needs to know today. I am going to bring out some new oracle cards. So um, we've got the Mystic Martian oracle deck back out here. It's one that I haven't used in a bit. We're going to start with the Rising Spirits Titanic deck. I pay attention to the bottom deck energy in all the decks to my left. They've all been pre-shuffled. So the bottom deck energy in the pre-shuffle for this deck, we have Judgment. <sighs> Judgment could mean a couple different things here. <clears throat> We're going to use the regular Rider Weight Tarot deck to clarify today. But for this card, this is going to be kind of like the overarching theme of the message that will come out. So this could either be somebody getting karma, the universe itself calling judgment on somebody. This is about somebody being tested. I'm almost getting here because when you really look at this judgment card here, you see like a, a flip side to it. So if it were to be reversed, you see people ignoring those needing help in the in the lifeboat. And there's even though there's plenty of space in here, right? And on the other side, the upside, the upright part, we have the people being saved and brought into the lifeboat. <sighs> The devil's underneath that. So I almost get the sense here that somebody maybe needs to reevaluate a decision that was made, or they made a bad judgment call, or they're calling judgment on a specific situation right now. So let's just draw some cards here for the initial first layer of the energy, so to speak. If you've watched any of my other energy check-in videos, you know by now that I like to clarify the cards that come out kind of like a pyramid where I peel back each layer of energy to see the details of what's really going on <clears throat> Spirit what does the collective need to know about right now? Okay, we have the moon Eight of cups is here One more card, please. What does the collective need to know? Okay, we have two Okay, King of Swords, nice. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, maybe it's not very nice. Chariot. Okay, so I'm getting something has happened here and somebody is moving on from a situation because of something that has happened. So let's continue to clarify. <sighs> Alright, well, fine. I'll talk I'll talk briefly about what these cards mean here and what I'm getting. The Eight of Cups is about somebody walking away from a particular situation, turning their back on something, um, ignoring something. The Moon is normally about secrets, things being very hidden, someone shrouded in darkness, um, dark night of the soul. It could even be a dream state. It could also talk about deep emotions. And then we have the King of Swords, which is usually about uh, um, someone who is very intelligent. They probably are an academic. Um, they know how to fight for themselves. They're very cutting with their words sometimes. And if they get angry, then they can be very, very like mean and ruthless almost. So... King of Swords can also represent an authoritative figure, too, so it could even be something along the lines of, like, a police officer or an attorney at law or someone who is in the judicial system, excuse me, the ju judicial system. There we go. I got it out. And then we have the world here. The world is about a new cycle, either something ending or something beginning. And then we have the chariot here. The chariot is about moving on. A voyage of some sorts, beginning a trek, an adventure, a new cycle, a new beginning, something new, um, being escorted by somebody. It could also talk about vehicles, like getting into a car and driving. Um, but we're going to clarify 
bottom deck in the pre-shuffle of the Rider Waite Tarot, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is a card about attachments. It could be about greed. And so I feel like somebody may be walking away from a situation because they have an attachment to something else. Um, they could be wanting stability or fighting for their stability, holding on to stability, or there could be someone that they're holding on to, that they're walking away from something else and walking towards what it is that they're holding on to. Um, but we're going to get into it more. We have moving on to calmer waters here with the Six of Swords coming out. <clears throat> All right, what's the Eight of Cups? Clarify the Eight of Cups, please. Clarify the Eight of Cups, please. One more card for the Eight of Cups, please. Clarify the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> okay. Oh my gosh, again, we have that. The Emperor. Okay, so somebody took action here. Um, Somebody walked away from something that they initially went towards, which created delays. And I feel like the, the thing that they went towards, which created a delay, was a person. And we have the emperor coming out here. So the emperor went towards a person, but it wasn't an empress, so it wasn't like an actual match. That's what I'm getting. And there's somebody that they're coming back towards here that they want to apologize to, or it could be this Queen of Pentacles that they want to apologize to. Let's keep clarifying. Somebody walked away from a partnership or something here though. What's the, let's get a good shuffle in. What's the moon? What's the moon? What's the moon? Clarify the moon please. For the moon. Moon could also be about secrets too. Ooh. We have the high priestess. Just as I was talking about secrets, the high priestess wanted to be seen. The moon. What's the moon about? Clarifying the moon, we have the uh, Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups. The moon. Hmm. Man, someone is in the dark night of the soul over some type of option. There's, there could be a person embodying the star energy here. I feel like there's someone in general who is very tempered, very healed. Um, they're kind, of, they're probably alone, but they're like, they're, I'm getting this like goddess energy to this person who embodies the star card here. But someone's very heavily burdened because this person could have a lot of options in front of them or they could be confused right now and that's what's creating their dark night of the soul this person this person's energy could be really confusing this this other person here this emperor look we got the four of cups wanted to be seen here so hmm somebody got i feel like somebody may have gotten rejected so this eight of cups could be oh here we look we have the Nine of Pentacles card and the Four of Cups coming out again. I didn't even ask a question, but I was I was starting to analyze the Four of Cups that wanted to be seen a few shuffles ago. Somebody got rejected here, and I feel like somebody ended a relationship with someone, and now they're single. And they could have ended a relationship with the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody who maybe is, was a mother who had children. Um could be their baby mama, their, uh, somebody that they work with. It could have been, uh, another person who was on their own, who had money or something like that, but I don't know. Because if you're going to walk away from a queen of pentacles,
pull a card on this Queen of Pentacles energy here. Oh, look, we have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords coming out. And the King of Swords is already out here. So, I don't think this Queen of Pentacles was this person's match. Can we get a card for the Queen of Pentacles, please? <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> I said, can we get a card describing the Queen of Pentacles, please? The freaking devil came out. So, yeah, that is clarification to me that this person may have been an individual that they were in a toxic connection with. And then there's a, there's another person out here that embodies the star energy, which is like night and day, literally night and day, if you compare it to the devil energy here. <laughs> it's almost like, it's like somebody, it's almost like somebody, Somebody is coming out of illusions and coming out of confusion and they're realizing the reality of something here and they're burdened by that realization and they're keeping it to themselves. They're keeping it to themselves. The fact that they are like overwhelmed by this person's energy, how healed they are. Or this person could be just very much in the dark night of their soul after walking away from this relationship here. And they could be trying to, uh, yeah, having sleepless nights, anxiety. They could be trying to heal themselves, but they're having a hard time. They're feeling left out in the cold. There's a tower moment here for somebody. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's clarify the King of Swords here. Let's keep the story going. I still want more details. What's the King of Swords? What's the King of Swords? Okay, we have the High Priestess. The Eight of... Okay, wow, 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 wow. Okay, so I feel like somebody's hiding a secret here that someone's going to jail. Someone could be going to jail because of something that happened with this connection here. And they're choosing to walk away from it because they're realizing that this person only caused problems for them. They kept them, they fed their ego, but they didn't feed their soul. But there's somebody here that this, that's on the mind of this emperor that does feed their soul. They're having sleepless nights about this person. They could be dreaming about this individual as well. And it's almost like they're overwhelmed by the signs and synchronicities that they're seeing about this person here that embodies the star energy. And this person could even be someone that helps to heal them vicariously or uh, unknowingly. And then you have the King of Swords, which I feel like somebody had to make, oh my God, yeah, somebody had to make a decision here. I feel like somebody's wrestling between, do I turn this person in or what? Do I, do I keep it to myself? And I feel like somebody wants to turn this person in. They want to bring justice to the situation. And while they could have been contemplating a way to bring justice to a situation, boom, a, a police officer knocks on their door and wants to arrest that individual that they're trying to, that they're trying to walk, find a way to walk away from. This person was trying to find a way to walk. This is like divine intervention vibes that I'm getting here. It's like allowing you to create a new cycle because it's a catalytic, catalytic, catalytic event that ends something for you. This could be why they, all that death stuff's been coming out recently. And this may, you may end up having to move to a different location after this happens because, I don't know. I feel like somebody's, 
this could only be for some of you. Remember the, the readings. We got the chariot coming out here again. But this could only be some of you. This is a general reading, so just take what resonates. If you don't know about anybody who's getting arrested for something, then it's not regarding you. But I'm getting that... It's like someone didn't know what to do because they are they have legal matters going on. And again, the Hierophant out here. It's like divine intervention. The universe was like, all right, yeah, this has to end. So this is what we're doing. And then whatever somebody was doing caught up to them. And now they're getting karma for it. That's what the judgment card was about. And it's initiating a new cycle here. We have the lovers and the hierophant. Hmm. Somebody made a decision to walk away. I feel like they were divinely guided because they're overwhelmed with signs and synchronicities that this person is not right for them. What's the world card about? Oh, shit. What's the world card? Oh, my gosh. That was the Wheel of Fortune. I know it was. I synced it. I synced it. I don't, did it actually flip over though? I don't think it did, but it wanted to be seen, okay? It definitely wanted to be seen. Let's make note of that. I saw that Wheel of Fortune about to flip out of here. What is this? The Magician? Wow. Wow. Oh man. Someone may have been using spell work to manipulate a situation here, and that could have been what somebody found out. And uh, somebody walked away from the person that they discovered this from. And now this person wants to manifest a new situation. They're tired of always getting caught up in this person's karma. So I feel like they're trying to separate. Let's get into the oracles. Bottom deck energy in the pre-shuffle of the Echo Soul Oracle deck. We have blessing out here. So something could be coming in. We have an opportunity. Oh, my God. I almost burnt myself there. Every freaking video, I'm telling you. There's like a fire spirit here. We have honesty and harmony. Somebody needs to come clean about a certain situation. Confusion, truth. Yeah, somebody needs to come clean. They're probably confused at the how how to tell the truth like because it may be very complicated issues yes look what i i mean i'm not stuck in the deck i promise you see me out here shuffling this is why i shuffle on camera all right what's this devil energy about here i feel like this may be somebody using dark magic oh Oh. <laughs> oh, you're freaking me out, spirit. Jesus. All right. So, confirmation. 1818 18 on the clock as I look up. My I didn't start my timer on time, so it, the time won't sync with what you're watching, but that's what I see here. And Man, that's just, that's just, look, unfinished business. I feel like the devil, somebody may, okay, I'm literally getting the fact that somebody conjured demons and sent them to someone, right? But they didn't realize who they were sending them to because it just backfired right on them. And now... I mean, think about it. This is the unfinished business here. Because if you send a demon somewhere and you say, go do this. You conjured them. They're in this realm. They're not going to leave the realm until they do their job. And so in order to leave the realm, which when if you don't know who you're sending it to. And you don't know that it's going to get sent back to you. You don't know how to protect yourself. So when you start having all these things happening to you as a result of the spell you casted like three four or five months ago um to harm someone and you didn't really know what you were doing then events will start unfolding in your life as a consequence of that 
thing that you put out into the world because everything that you put out comes back to you. This is why people preach only doing good things, making decisions based out of love because if you make your decisions based out of love, you can never make a wrong decision because it's either going to teach you what you need to learn or it's going to fulfill you and empower you. So this is the complete opposite. And when you conjure something, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> I'm so sorry. There's someone like choking me right now. It's probably this entity that's like, stop telling people this. I want my whatever. But when you conjure something, you send it to somebody and you don't know who you're sending it to. You could be sending it to a very high ranked, high spiritualist and they're untouchable. And so it's going to be reflected back to you, but not reflected back to you <laughs> to the intensity that you sent it to, to that person, right? It's going to be reflected back to you with an intensity that's times 10. So if you're wishing death on somebody and you're doing spell work and you're, you're wielding these things and you're conjuring certain entities to go and do that for you, get ready because it's going to come back on you because when they when these demons go to these spiritualists or these entities because you did not realize how powerful they really were in the other realms these entities are going to now listen to their commands and so then it's going to be sent right back to you return to sender that's the unfinished business because they're going to eat your heart out they're going to come for you these entities, they're going to come for you because they have unfinished business. Because the person you, that you sent them to is too powerful. They can't take them down. <sighs> Chaos magic, beauty magic, all because they were jealous. They wanted you to be stuck. They wanted to be just like you. Look, they're feeling unworthy of whatever whatever it is that you have. They want because they feel like they could never get it themselves. So they want to take it from you. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody with really, really just gross energy is what I'm getting. And it, it could have just been somebody that they were also in a connection with. This emperor. It may not have been this emperor. Whoever it is, though, they're getting their karma. That's for damn sure. That's what the, those so. That's what that was about. The judgment. All right. What's this uh, confusion about? Inner child. Yeah. This this em this emperor. Whoever uh, is resonating with this emperor energy, having to walk away from a connection because you discovered this person was doing dark magic. I feel like this. I mean, you could have, <sighs> when this energy entered your life, you were confused because you were still dealing with childhood trauma of abandonment issues. You lost your childhood self. There's another, there's another card in here on the same dock with somebody on it, but it's not labeled inner child. This one's labeled inner child and it's a dock, but it's empty. Your inner child is gone. You've been traumatized by what you discovered from this person, what they were doing, or what you tried to do to somebody. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, you were unworthy, but the person that you're trying to mirror here, that you're trying to stall the blessings for and stuff, who's actually a divine being, that person's protected. And with this portal coming up, the Lionsgate portal, August couple freaking days away man like this that tower is gonna be hitting hard da, 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 da. there she is there's that dock there's the lonely woman on the dock feeling unworthy look at this somebody was feeling unworthy so they used dark influences here they used dark magic. That's ridiculous. 
you can't really get it any clearer than the devil and magic right freaking next to each other. <sighs> Pathetic. If you have to revert to magic to harm people, then... Look, the confusion is coming out again. Somebody could have been doing chaos magic on this emperor, too, I'm getting. That could, that could have been what they discovered. They discovered that whoever they were with was doing magic on them. They're walking away from that partnership now. They're having to take a loss. And there's somebody here that they have... Uh, it could be this divine feminine, this divine being here that they have a kind of a... Maybe they're in a rough patch connection with this person. It could be that star energy that's coming out too. Yeah. The situation was complicated for sure. What's the tower? Long term. What's the tower? What's the tower in the long term? Oh my gosh. Long term direction. I feel like someone gets to have a happy ending, but someone is headed to jail or prison or whatever. <sighs> because we have false masks here. It's a direction of a long term false mask. You're going to have to really be on guard at all times if you're in jail. I mean, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here, but it's like someone has also realized that they have been pretending for a really long time and it's time to change things in their life because they just have not been happy and they're starting to realize that while this person oh my god look at this look at this unfinished business beginning positive beginning unfinished business is here so there is an, a beginning here that will be good for this emperor, but someone is still feeling like there's unfinished business. And I feel like it's this person who is doing the, the devil magic. <laughs> yeah, but that cycle's complete now. They've let go. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the magician and the three of cups about? What's the magician and the three of cups? Stable. They're manifesting something stable, something that they're going to be able to celebrate with someone. Hmm. Grounded. What's the magician? Abundance. Yeah, manifesting a new life, a new cycle, a new start, a new beginning. Yeah, it could also be a new beginning in love here, but it requires asking somebody for forgiveness first. They could have walked away from someone that they now realize is a good, is like the best option or whatever that is more appealing for them, that is of the light. They could have walked away from that person in the past to be with this person, or they could have been with this person and then now they're discovering this type of person. Take whatever resonates. What's this direction that the emperor is going in? Whatever direction they're headed in, they're going to be protected because, yeah. This person is just doing way too much. We have frustration here. What kind of magic was being done? Love spells. What kind of magic was being done? Reflection. Mirror magic. Mirror magic. Okay, so let me talk to you guys about mirror magic here for a second. This, okay, this person could have been saying incantations into a mirror. I mean, mirrors are powerful portals especially if you connect them like across from each other like I don't want to give out too much of this information because people can use it for really bad reasons but <sighs> mirror magic is just basically 
using the mirrors of someone's home to peer in to look at what they're doing for remote viewing, um, which is a huge invasion of privacy. And no light witch or uh, any high priestess that is of the light, nobody would do that because we don't invade people's privacy unless we are granted the permission to do so. And so um, this is definitely a negative aspect to using magic, using any kind of magic at all. You can use it for negative things just as you can for positive things. But as I said earlier, like whatever you put out, it comes back at you. And so someone could be getting their karma right now because of the type of magic that they were doing, which involved spying on somebody. Um, it could also be... Like, let's say this person says an incantation into a mirror, then they're directing whatever they're sending to the mirror to the person. So the next time that this person looks into the mirror, they feel insecure about themselves, right? Things like that, too. Um, I mean, it could be a variety of ways that you could use a mirror to send magic to somebody, but they're getting creative, I'm, I'm hearing. They're definitely getting creative. And I feel like the reason why this emperor walked away from the person who was doing this is because they started discovering just how desperate this person really was by the types of rituals they were starting to do. It was, I think it was like scaring this person almost. And they were kind of like delaying leaving because they had to work up strength. Like maybe they were a little scared. Oh shit. I'm like, maybe they were a little scared. We have fear coming out here. Look. And, but now... Oh my god. Arrest from the magic. Yeah. Trust. Trust in the pain. It's crazy. Oh man. What's this abundance about that's coming in for the emperor now that he's walked away? What's this abundance? It's an abundance of energy so that tells me it is coming in quickly since you made this decision to leave this person out in the past um it's like your pain is transmuting fast and you're recalibrating yourself almost like all the spells and shit are breaking that this person put over you you're no longer binded to them you're still having some anxiety because it's it's a transition. When you transmute energy, your body also goes through changes too. You could have ghosted this person and now you're isolating yourself because you're paranoid. They could also be projecting paranoia onto you as their ritual, their dark magic spells that they might still be doing. So if you're resonating with being an emperor who's having this kind of magic done on you, just make sure that you're you're taking steps to protect your energy. So when you step out of your home, carry a crystal in your pocket. Um, if you are taking a shower, make sure you do like a spiritual ritual in the shower to cleanse your energy so that way any attachments that somebody sends at you, um, you remove them every time you shower, every time you bathe yourself and make sure you're stimulating your mind. So instead of sitting there being paranoid about what people are trying to do to you, um, pick up a book, get immerse yourself into a storyline that you find intriguing. And, you know, if you're inspired by that, start writing or something like that, you know, pick up an instrument that you've never learned how to do before or how to play and that'll occupy your time. Next thing you know, you've acquired new skills and new talents and you forgot about that person who hurt you. Okay. We have rebirth here. You can be seeing the number seven repeated, also six. Rebirth, that's that transformation, that transmuting of the negative energy that I was talking about here. And of course, we have manifestation. Eight is also the number of abundance. So we have the abundance card out here. So somebody is working really hard to manifest a new beginning for themselves. Remember, I was talking earlier about seeing signs and synchronicities. That could definitely be happening right now with this person in their dreams. There could be messages coming in their dreams. Rebirth, they could be working on themselves as well. Relationship change, like I said, this person has completed a cycle. We have completion out here. This person has completed a cycle with this, uh, I want to call it a karmic energy. <sighs> Follow your dreams. This person has lost, like, 
this emperor energy whoever's resonating with the emperor here again rebirth look rebirth personal growth that's that there's that seven a transformation is definitely happening here for you guys and i think it's because you're you're starting to realize that somebody that you're giving your time and energy to has betrayed you in a major way especially if you were learning about spirituality it's almost like the universe I'm getting the sense that this happened to somebody who wasn't ever spiritual at all. Like, you didn't know anything about spell work. You didn't know anything about none of this stuff. And then all of a sudden you met somebody who was interested in it or was starting to teach you about it or you started indulging in content that was helping you learn about it. And then right as you were starting to learn about it, boom, you discovered that somebody has been working magic on you, dark magic on you for a really long time. So... Don't question anything that happens in your life. If you start getting into topics, diving down rabbit holes, and you're like, why am I watching a documentary about this at 4 o'clock in the morning and I am just haven't slept yet because I just don't want to? It's because the universe is trying to get you to learn about something. They're trying to get you to stimulate your mind. They're trying to get you to uh, receive a message as well. And that message could very well be of the changes that need to occur in your life. And you could have been finally getting bombarded, overwhelmed. That could be why the Ten of Wands is out here. Someone's overwhelmed with the signs and synchronicities that they've been seeing to drop this person from their life. And finally, as you go to drop this person from your life, they can't even be an adult about it. And then you go and discover the shit that they've been doing behind your back to you. Yeah. You're done finished finito look at that effort 13 13 is the death card in tarot is it i don't know we have change something's ending here because you learned a freaking lesson a valuable lesson that's what i'm hearing Let's get a card from the Mystic Martian Oracle. Bottom deck of the pre-shuffle of the Mystic Martian Oracle deck we have. Third eye, visions, manifesting, meditation. Again, so many signs and synchronicities about somebody manifesting something here. Alchemy, the Philosopher's Stone, infinity, destiny, and magic. Yeah, there's somebody who's really, really in touch with their spirituality now. Foresight, planning, strategy, the Alpha Centaurians, yeah. Foresight. Mm-hmm. All right, let's pull some cards from this Oracle deck here. What other messages need to come through about this change that's occurring in this person's life? Autonomy, free will, manifestation. Bro, you're manifesting what it is that you want right now. Oh, man. And I feel like it's all happening fast. Movement, long distance travel, excitement. It's whatever this new, like, it's, okay, there's been a, a rush of new, 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 new coming in for a lot of people, right? And so it's like this person, I just heard, I just started hearing Ace of Bass playing in my head. I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. No one's going to drag you up to get into the life where you belong. But where do you belong? Yeah, someone feels like they someone feels like they know where they belong now. Mhm. Mm they know where they belong now. They're manifesting their home, their forever person, their forever place, their forever energy, their forever like solutions to their wish fulfillment. Um, what else is happening for this emperor now that he's manifesting something new? Holy shit. Manifesting. Multidimensional. Perception. Attunement. This person is tapping the in. Brah, brah. Sorry, I got excited there. Warrior. Passion. Fearlessness. Yes. Messages, curiosity, signs. Oh my god. This is so crazy. Oh my god. Okay, let's get one more card here. Tell us what else you need to know about the situation for this emperor. Survival, adaptable, reliable. This is 
integrating. That's a good word for it. Survival, adaptable, reliable. Bottom, look, we have integration, life lessons, emanation. The tree of life, Kabbalah tree of life. This person is learning about their ancestral line, their own spirituality. They're learning how to open themselves up and block other people. Again, with the signs. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, let's get a Romance Angels card here, just in case this is a situation revolving a love partnership. Um, we're going to pull from the Romance Angels deck here. But there's somebody who's seeing the signs and synchronicities and they're moving towards something. They're manifesting something new in their life. It could be a person. It could be um, a new situation. It could be a new work situation. It could be moving houses. Um, it could be breaking up with somebody or leaving your family behind. So sometimes, let's be real, blood is not thicker than whatever the fuck. But I mean... The moral of the story is sometimes your family are the reasons why you're effed up. Bottom deck energy, we have reconciliation and let go of control issues, um, healing family issues, express your love. Yeah, so this could have been a family situation. They could have had a family member that was uh, very codependent on this emperor here. And it's like as soon as this emperor wanted to like make a major change in his life that involved probably moving away from family or giving more time and energy elsewhere instead of to their family they probably started to manipulate this emperor to stay within the confines of their family dynamic so that meant creating delays for this emperor he couldn't have a love life he wasn't very successful in his career he couldn't move up get promoted if it required moving out of the county or wherever this emperor was at then there would be an issue a fight about it you know this person would be feel obligated to stay close like it was codependency period that's what that was somebody was really desperate to keep a hold of this emperor that they started going to the lengths of using dark magic we have expressed your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so this emperor is feeling like he can actually go and talk to somebody now maybe before there was just a lot going on for someone that he had his heart set on that um it was complicated to come in and commit to this person if this is involving a love situation i feel like there's a conversation that will take place it says, honestly, discuss your feelings with each, with each other. This could be also the thing that this emperor is uh, feeling overwhelmed about. How how was he going to have this conversation? Whatever this conversation is about. But I feel like there's somebody here that they want to express their appreciation to. We did have the uh, um, energy of an apology and forgiveness coming out earlier. So I feel like in, in the effort of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, they're going to also express their love for this person when they give that deep, honest communication. Bottom deck, romantic feelings. Somebody that they have romantic feelings for, they're probably going to come, come and talk to. Maybe they're going to also open up about the situation here. And maybe seek the advice of this person. All right, spirit. Let's get an oracle, a messenger oracle message here for the collective. What is the lesson that's being learned from this right now? What is the lesson? Ooh. Caught it. Calm in the storm. I feel like somebody's learning how to have control over their anger. Somebody's learning how to uh, accept the things that they cannot change. They're learning how to be a little bit more observant about the things that are going on around them. And they're starting to attune more to their energetic alignment with where they want to go in their future. 
So let's pull a card here from the Moonology Oracle deck and then we'll call it an end to this reading here. Bottom deck in the pre-shuffle, we have Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back, South Node. South Node would be the opposite of your North Node. North Node is typically, uh, astrologers would consider that to be your life path, like what you're meant to do in this lifetime. South Node is usually when you, you pulled yourself back from doing that. So I feel like there's something that happened in the past here with this emperor that is making them revert back to like childhood wounds, um, triggering emotions, anxiety, paranoia. They feel like they're not good enough in a way to approach this person that they want to approach or to change their life in the way that they want to change it. But there is an energy here about when the smoke clears from this traumatic ending that this emperor is trying to heal from, they'll have a, a clear idea of where to go. All right, Spirit, what's some advice for this emperor? Let's get some advice for this emperor, please. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. We just had Cancer season pass. So this could have been something prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So by this time, work through your fears. By this time next year, or uh, by spring of next year, you could be in a much better position after having recovered from what this person was doing to you. Um, you could honestly have to rebuild your entire life after walking away. For some of you, I feel like I'm getting that energy here really strong. Um, it's, it's a complete 180 from what you've experienced. That's why that... A being uh, adaptable and reliable out here is for in the survival getting in touch with your roots living off of the land like some of you may have a goal of just leaving it all behind selling your house and getting a cabin in the woods or something you know for some of you if that's what you're really wanting to do after overcoming this long-term situation here that was negative and toxic then um maybe you should just start start taking those avenues real quick i'm just being called to pull an affirmation here for you guys um some of you need to do affirmations to cleanse your energy because i feel like the more you cleanse the faster your manifestations are going to come in for you so let's look into an affirmation for that okay spirit how can they be helped to manifest quicker this emperor how can they be helped to manifest and cleanse? Okay. Ooh. Look at that. We have, it says, I will persist. My will is strong. <clears throat> I will persist. My will is strong. If you really want to give this person... Oh, look, look at the bottom deck. It says, I accept renewal and delight in fresh starts. Isn't that awesome? Let's take a look at the imagery. There's that moon imagery again. There's somebody here that somebody's dreaming about. I will persist. My will is strong. All right, emperors, all my emperors out there, if you resonate with this, just know that if you're walking away from this person because you discovered what they've been doing behind your back and you know that it was very negative and very toxic and detrimental, I'm proud of you for walking away because it takes a lot of balls and uh, guts and courage to realize what needs to change in your life and to act on it. It's one thing to realize it, but it's another to act on it. And a lot of people who choose not to act on what they know needs to change, you're going to still receive karma. You're going to be receiving karma. But if you choose to realize that you need to act on that and you take steps towards acting on that change, the universe is going to reward you. And I feel like this person is finally stepping away from something that was really negative in their life for a really, really long time. And now they're able to be in a different place and i feel like that's good for him now that's good for this emperor <laughs> whoever is resonating with this emperor energy that has been having all this negative stuff done to you like i'm sorry it's horrible 
It's horrible. Nobody should have to deal with someone who wants to do things like that to them. Because it's not even love, man. If this person was somebody who said that they loved you and then they're going to go off and do all that, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Alright, that's what I have for you. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate you if you watched all the way to the end. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about some of the cards in this video. That manifestation synchronicity that's been coming out, though, that's a big key factor here in this storyline. Someone is manifesting something new. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time.